Hello and welcome to this second video on animated daily line plots. In this video, we'll go over data completion where we will see how to complete each combination of day and country and then we'll use that data to create animated daily line plot for four countries. We will start by extracting day and month information from date. So this is the current format of date that we are using and extracting day and month from this is very easy. If we simply say day, so it gives us 14. So it pulls out this 14 from the date information. Similarly, if we want to extract month, we can use month. It gives us two, which is uh, pulled out of this. There is another function w day which is day of the week. So if we run this, so this means 14th February 2020 is the sixth day of the week. So week starts with Sunday. So we are going to mainly extract day and month information. So the data that we have is data new and we'll create a new column and name it as day. And then we'll use this day function, date confirmation. So if we run this, it will pull out day information. So let's copy and paste and also pull out month information. So let's extract information that we need for animated line plot. So I'm going to store this in new and our data is data new. We connect this to the next line. We'll make this plot only for the month of March let's say month equal equal three and then we can group by day and country and then we can summarize and within count we can store the numbers so if we run new now so we have data on day country and count so next we are going to filter this data out of data on all the countries let's filter this out for just four countries if we run this we notice that on day one we do not have data on France similarly on day two also we do not have data on France so basically we have some combinations of day and country missing in this data and this will create a misalignment at the time of plotting the data. So what we need to do is we have to make sure that each and every combination of day and country are there in our data. We'll modify new and store in new. We'll use a data frame and the function to complete the combinations is complete where we provide the input data and the two columns are day and country. And then we also need to specify how do we fill those missing values. So we are going to fill missing values with zero, which means there were no cases on those days in those countries. We can use list and then count equals zero. And now if you run this, we see that day one now has four rows. France is now included with a value of zero. Similarly, on day two also, France is included with a value of zero. We'll use this and connect this to the next line, ggplot. On the x-axis, we want day. And on the y-axis, we want count. We can then add the next layer, geom underscore line. So we have to modify a few more things here. So we want to group this by country. We can also add color. So each country has its own color. So this is how we want the base plot to appear. And now we can add the animation in the next layer. We can say transition underscore reveal. And we want this animation to play out day by day. So we can say day. Towards the end of March, 
for one or two days looks like there's no data so probably it may be a good idea to remove those data points when making this line plot in the next video we will go over animated bar plots